Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Hello, I'd like to demonstrate a technique of securing a alginate preliminary maxillary edentulous impression. I'd like to do this using a new technique or a relatively recent innovation that employs certain key procedures. These key procedures that you might keep in mind are the correct spatulation and consistency of the alginate impression material, the technique of loading the maxillary vestibules, and then the seating of the alginate filled impression tray. The result that we would like to obtain would be an alginate impression that shows the maxillary residual ridge and the buccal and labial vestibules to their full extent. This will be used in the fabrication of a preliminary cast. Let me demonstrate the patient for you first. Please open. This is the maxillary residual ridge we are interested in. It shows for us the residual ridge, the labial vestibule, labial frena, buccal vestibule and buccal frena, the retrozygomatic space, and the tuberosity, along with the hamular notch. The posterior region shows the full extent of the maxillary residual ridge and its junction with the soft palate. The armamentarium for this technique includes a large flexible hygienic rubber bowl, a maxillary residual ridge edentulous impression tray, a two ounce BD irrigating syringe, a sphedia plastic spatula, a mouth mirror, alginate and water. The ratio of water to powder for the alginate material should be two and one half measures of water to one package or three scoops of alginate impression material. The consistency is, of this is very critical. One must first incorporate the water and powder and then spatulate this until it reaches the appropriate consistency. Here we are incorporating the water and powder. Once it's fully incorporated, it then must be spatulated against the sides of the bowl until it re reaches a creamy, homogeneous consistency. Once we have this, a small portion <coughs> is loaded into the syringe. The remainder is applied to the tray. Do not overfill the tray. Now we apply the alginate material intraorally, first starting in the posterior region and working our way forward. Do both sides. Then Insert the tray into the mouth. Ask the patient to relax the lip. Seat from anterior to the left side, then the right side. With your mouth mirror, please open. With your mouth mirror, scoop the alginate material from the back of the mouth. Ask the patient to relax the lip. Hold the tray in place until the material is set. This material takes about one minute to set, and when set, is simply removed from the mouth. This is the end result, the alginate impression, which secures the detail of anatomy which we are interested in. Let's point out a few things. Starting from anterior to posterior again, the maxillary labial frena, the labial vestibule, the buccal frena, 
the buccal vestibule with zygomatic arch, the retrozygomatic space, and here the hamular notch. Across the back, the junction of the hard and soft palate. This impression should duplicate in negative the anatomy that you would find in the intraoral situation. It is a simple technique to secure an accurate impression for the preliminary impression for a maxillary edentulous ridge. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.